Hey guys, how are we doing today? This is Wally with LearningNet.com and if you're watching this video, you probably want to know how to add on domains for uh, to create multiple websites, perhaps uh, for your business itself. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today in this uh, brief tutorial is showing you how to do just that, how to add on domains and also install WordPress on those domains to be able to create websites online. But before we get into it, guys, uh, if you're new here to this channel, welcome. I want you guys to hit the subscribe button right below along with the bell and also the like button and that way any future videos guys that I put up you'll be sure to receive them. So I've been able to create uh, several websites online, blogs using uh, WordPress and I uh, wanted to take out a few moments to share with you guys how to do just that. So I'm assuming that you already have a web hosting provider for your uh, websites itself but if you don't um, check out the descriptions portion right below. I do have some recommended um, providers there that you can take a look at get started with the one that you prefer just click the links there to open up in another tab get started and that way you'll get your get access to uh, your credentials for cPanel where you'll then log in and you'll see what I see okay so once you do that guys if you need a few moments you can pause this video and do that get started with your web hosting and but once you log into your cPanel you can pick up right here and you'll notice that your cPanel, guys, has different uh, sections, such as files, jet uh, backup. There'll be a section where you can set up auto updates for your databases and your, your files and whatnot. You have uh, SEO tools you'll see there. Then you'll see a, a section also for domains. And so what we want to do here, guys, is click on where it says Add on Domains. And when you do that, you're going to see this screen that pops up right here where it says add on domains, create an add on domain itself. So the thing that you want to do now is you want to type in that actual domain that you want to add on to then install WordPress on it, if that makes sense. So hopefully you've already uh, chosen your domain or purchased a domain, perhaps at a domain uh, registrar. And now you just want to type that one in. So for the purpose of this tutorial, guys, we're going to be using the domain weight loss distributors wanted. It's a long tail keyword, uh, really nice for marketing, you know, especially for like weight loss uh, businesses, things of that nature. But we're going to use that for this uh, tutorial. So once you do that, automatically, you'll see that a subdomain is created for you along with the root directory for this domain that um, is going to be uh, created and added to your cPanel. Once you uh, type that in, guys, you want to hit the Add Domain button itself. And so what it's going to do from this point, it's going to ju simply just going to add the domain to your account. So it might take a few uh, seconds to do that. And this is the very process, guys, that you're going to use for every single add-on that you're going to, you know, if you want to create like a new WordPress website itself, you're just going to follow these same prompts, log into your cPanel, guys, click on that very same icon, and then you'll get a message that says the add-on domain, for example, in this case with this tutorial, weightlossdistributorswanted.com has been created. So great, we've uh, created or added on the domain itself, and now it's a part of our cPanel itself. So now what I want to do, guys, is go back to um, my cPanel home itself and go back and now to actually install WordPress on the domain itself that we've just added on you want to drop all the way down you'll see this section for software but it's easier to just go to the very bottom and you'll see some different scripts CMS platforms of course you have access to WordPress Joomla different ones that are here that are popular but for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to install this particular domain on WordPress so once you click on uh, WordPress itself the very next screen that pops up guys it's going to tell you um, we're going to have uh, we're going to be able to install WordPress itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on install now and the very next screen is just going to prompt me to choose the domain itself that I want to install WordPress on. Now, the thing that you want to do in this case right here, guys, you're going to see that automatically this field right here where it says in directory will be filled already with WP. 
But what you want to do is you want to eliminate that, remove it, because if you don't, once you install WordPress on this particular domain itself, it's going to say, for example, weightlossdistributorswanted.com forward slash WP. And you really don't want that. You just want the .com or the .net or .org, or whatever your top level domain is. And that's it. So you want to just erase that. Then you'll see here where it says our uh, site name. I'm just going to call it. I'm going to capital, capitalize everything. We'll put weight loss distributors on it. And right here, you can have like a description for your site itself. Make money. as a weight loss distributor, something like that. And this is just an example. So you can type whatever you want to put there for the site, um, the tagline itself for the site. And so I typed in make money as a weight loss distributor with the best team, something like that. Now, right here, this is very important. Your admin username, I'm just going to use this right here, distributors want it. And then I'm going to create a password, right? And let's see. I think that with passwords, it's really good to have a password that's probably like, I don't know, like nine, 10 characters, something like that. And to make it, I always like to add numbers in it, what makes it extremely difficult, obviously, for somebody to guess it. You know, you don't want to do nothing, something like one, two, three, four, nothing crazy like that, right? Um, and what I'm going to do for admin purposes, I'm just going to use mylearningnet.com email okay so guys once you do that drop all the way down and you'll have the option of selecting a theme you can do it now or you can do it later but if you don't want to do it and you want to do it later which is fine and I can show you guys how to do that as well so once you install WordPress on this, you need to plug in the email where you want the confirmation to go to. I'm going to click install. It's going to take a few seconds for it to install WordPress on this particular domain itself for weight loss, distributorswanted.com. And just let it uh, do that. Great. So it's already installed. As you can see, it it's, takes just a few seconds to do that. This is the actual website. And you can see that uh, if you click right there, you'll see that it'll be live itself, right? And that's what it's going to look like for right now. So right now, I didn't I didn't choose a theme, nothing you know special with it. But every time when you install WordPress on a new domain itself, uh, by default, you'll see this hello world there, which you can change and uh, you know do that. If you want to like customize your actual domain itself to log into it and um, go in and like you know change the theme you're going to automatically that it's going to log you in so if you want to select a theme guys go down to appearance and you can go about these are some default ones that are already there but if you want to add like a new theme or something like that you see like thousands upon thousands of themes that you guys have access to there's one that I really like to use, you know, for the websites that I have up. It's just a very user SEO friendly um, theme itself. And it's called Frito and that's right there. So you can just hit install, right? And so that's installed right there. So I'm just gonna activate it, okay? And from this point, so I'll have this particular theme um, upload it on this domain itself for weightlossdistributors.com. If you want to see guys what it looks like, just click up here where it says visit site and you'll see like what it looks like now. So it looks more, you know, personalized right here and it has some color in it, some taste, great. So now it really breaks down to just adding pages, posts, content, things of that nature. Um, something that I like to do 
and that you should do is add uh, plugins to your um, your actual website itself and you can do that by simply just clicking here and going to uh, add new and you can add plugins you know to your actual website itself and so this is pretty uh, straightforward guys as you can see that your website is up and running um, you just have to add plugins to it to help with the functionality of the actual uh, website itself uh, what I could do perhaps in another video is to talk more about some specific plugins that you can uh, add on um, you know when you start creating you know websites online um, there's so many of them out there but what I recommend doing is just um, you know you think about there's you know one for like spam itself that you can uh, add itself and I think that's a really good one to have Let's see if I can find that So there are tons of plugins. This is one right there. I definitely recommend installing. I recommend doing one called Yoast, which helps with SEO. There's several different plugins, and plugins are just like apps um, that help with the functionality of your website itself. And there are tons of them out there that you can do, but you don't have to install too many you know plugins on your website i mean you think about it on your very phone if you have too many plugins i mean too many applications or apps on your phone and your phone could run you know a lot slower and things you know have you know experienced different issues so it's not really necessary to have too many plugins on your website but it's really cool to have um you know the the, the right ones that you feel you know may be best to help with the functionality of your website itself